Hey friends, how's it going? Mackenzie here, representing Yoga Pod for Collins um, for a really fun Pod Flow 2 class. So let me grab my sign real quick. Cool. Well, thanks for joining. Um, again, it's Mackenzie, and I'm going to roll through a Pod Flow 2 class, which I guess you could call it maybe like an intermediate vinyasa flow. Um, and today, specifically, we are working towards a peak posture of Bhuja Pandas. Hold on. Bhuja, Bhuja Pandasana. I always get that wrong. So it is shoulder pressing pose. And I originally was going to work towards TT Vasana, which is firefly. And as I was moving through it, I realized that, you know, um, quarantine happened. I have lost a little bit of my arm strength. And so for today, I want to move through shoulder pressing stand. That is kind of the progression towards TT Vasana. So if you are strong enough, flexible enough to get into TT Vasana, I will still guide that. Um, we're gonna work through it in, in layers. So really big um, hamstring opener, and then also it is an arm balance. So we're gonna be working on a lot of arm strength. So thank you for joining. It will be about an hour long. I might take you a little bit over an hour. Um, and then I also included a Spotify playlist. So if you like to listen to music when you flow, which I personally do, um, you can click on that playlist and it will take you to Spotify um, and you can listen as you flow. So I'm just gonna give it about another minute or so for any stragglers to hop on. Um, but to start class, <clears throat> you're gonna come seated on the ground and you won't need much for props today. I do have a couple blocks with me. If you have yoga blocks at home, feel free to grab those. They might come in handy um, throughout the class, but you certainly don't need them to get into any of the postures, but they might be helpful. Um, if you don't have an actual yoga block, you could also grab um, like a stack of books or like a really thick book or something like that, just something to give you a little bit of extra height. So, I am going to get us going here. So we're going to come into Baddha Kanasana, which is butterfly pose. Um, we're bringing the soles of our feet together, and we're letting our knees open wide here. So this is a big hip opener to start right away at the beginning. You want this, the outside edges of your feet rooted into the earth. Again, touching through your, toe, your toes, through the ball of your feet, through your heels, finding that connection of your soles. Let your knees go heavy. Now I like to scoot any real estate from underneath my sit bones out of the way. And this helps me find a little bit of a, um, a tuck with your hips towards the front of the space. Go ahead and close your eyes here. And we want a long, straight spine. So energetically work the top of your head towards the sky. Your shoulders should be directly below your ears. Draw your shoulders gently down your back. If you kind of wiggle from side to side, really find your roots beneath you. Find your foundation. And we're going to begin with Ujjayi breath, which is our victorious breath. Go ahead and let all of your air out of your lungs. Now inhale through your nose, maybe for a count of four or five. And then exhale out through your nose. Again, inhale through your nose, filling up your lungs. And this time as you exhale through your nose, find a slight constriction in the back of your nose and It makes the breath more audible. It almost mimics the sound of the ocean waves or Darth Vader breath. It 
as if you're trying to fog up a window or a mirror in front of your face. Again, using the inhales and exhales through the nose. Couple more rounds of breath here. Soften through your thighs, through your knees. Drop them down to the ground a little bit more. We're going to find a little bit of stretching through our side body. So on your inhale, reach your arms overhead, bringing your palms to touch. Then exhale, side bend to the right. Drop your right hand, then bend your elbow here, stretching your left arm to the right side of the room, feeling this through your entire left side body. Inhale, back to center, arms overhead. Exhale, side bend to the left. Drop your left hand, bend your left elbow, reach to the right Stretching along the right side of your body. Inhale back to center, arms overhead. Exhale, release your hands down next to your body. Now keep your legs here. We're going to warm up our spine a little bit by taking some butterfly sit-ups right away at the beginning of class. So bring your palms together. Your fingers are going to touch your toes. Take an inhale here, stretch through your spine. Exhale, slowly lower down onto your back, reaching your fingers back behind you. Inhale, sit up, use your core, take your fingers to your toes. Exhale, lower down. Again, inhale, lift, sit up, fingers to your toes. Exhale, lower down, building strength. Through your core with each one. A couple more times. Inhale, sit up. Bring your fingers to your toes. Exhale, slowly lower down, finding your strength. Last one. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, lower all the way down. Slowly begin to rock and roll from the front to the back of the space. Coming into tabletop, plant your hands, step back one knee at a time, finding a long, flat spine here. Take a couple rounds of cat cow, inhale, cow, drop your belly. Exhale, cat, press it away. Find that protraction through your shoulders. Inhale, cow, drop your belly, gaze up, retract through your shoulders, hug them together. Exhale, press them out away. Hug your navel to your spine. Couple more. Cat cow. Any other variations that feel good? Meet us back in neutral spine, tabletop. Inhale, reach your right leg back behind you. So keep your right toes flexed here. Now that your right leg is about parallel to the ground. And we're going to pulse, reaching our right heel up to the sky. So pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse, keep those toes flexed. Reach up through the back side of your leg, through your heel. Keep pulsing. For five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up. Extended tabletop. Inhale here. Shine through your chest. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Hug in. Find that contraction through your right side body. Keep your right toes flexed. Inhale, kick back, extended tabletop. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Maybe even bring it up to the back of your tricep. Inhale, kick back one last time. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, right armpit, wherever you're reaching for. Inhale, kick back, extended tabletop. <laughs> and exhale, back to tabletop proper. One cat cow here. Find that neutralizing of the spine. And then we'll do that same thing on the other side. Inhale, kick back through your left foot. Extended tabletop. Your back hamstring is reaching for the sky. Your front foot is about parallel to the ground. Inhale. And start to pulse, kicking your left heel up towards the sky. Keep your left leg as long as you can. Keep your hips square to the ground. Keep pulsing, pulse, 
pulse, pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Keep it lifted. We're stretching through the back of our leg. It's engaged through your thigh. Inhale. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Crunch it through the left side. Press the mat away here. Inhale, kick back, extended tabletop. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Bring it in. Keep those left toes flexed. Last one. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, knee to elbow. Hug it and feel your strength here. Inhale, kick back. Extended tabletop. Exhale, tabletop proper. Again, one more round of cat cow. Neutralize through the spine. And exhale, we'll meet back in child's pose. Knees open wide, big toes to touch. Sink your heels, sorry, sink your hips to your heels. Just here for one, inhale. And exhale, find a connection with your forehead to the mat. Now we're gonna take this here and move into some child's pose push-ups. So on your inhale, lift up, shoulders over your wrists, and exhale, lower down into Chaturanga push-up. Hug your elbows in. Inhale. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, child's pose. Exhale, child's <coughs> pose push-up. Inhale, child's pose, move at your pace. Exhale, child's pose, push up, lower down, feel the strength within your arms. Inhale, child's pose. Exhale, child's pose, push up. We're gonna do five more of these, move at your own pace. Four more. Keep breathing, exhale, lower down. Three more. Two more. Keep on moving, keep on breathing. Lower your shoulders down, no more than your elbows here. Last one. Back to child's pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal it out here. One leg at a time, really pressing the mat away. Draw your elbows open. Find openness through your armpit. Keep on breathing here. And exhale, let it go. On your inhale, shift forward into a high plank, so a high push-up position. Wrists underneath your shoulders. One-legged plank, lift your right heel off of the ground. Exhale, knee to right elbow, hug it in. So again, building strength, inhale back, one-legged plank. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Last one, inhale, one-legged plank. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, back to plank proper. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal it out here. Now we're gonna do that on the other side. Inhale, shift forward into high plank. Lift your left leg, one-legged plank. Inhale. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, one-legged plank. Flex your left toes. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Beautiful job. Last one, inhale. One-legged plank, exhale, left knee, left elbow, inhale, plank proper, exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana, send your hips high, elongate through your spine here, so bend your knees as much as you need, inhale, gaze to the top of your mat, bend your knees, exhale, travel, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, extended mountain reach. 
Exhale, hands through, heart center, <coughs> Anjali Mudra. Press your palms together, thumbs to your chest. Inhale, extended mountain reach. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, high plank, down to your low plank, hug your elbows in. Inhale, offer your heart, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, inhale, gaze to the top of your mat, bend your knees. Exhale, travel feet to hands, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold, let it go. Bend your knees if you need. Inhale, extended mountain root to rise, arms reach. Exhale, draw your thumbs to your chest, press your palms. Inhale, extended mountain, urdhva, hasasana. Exhale, fold forward, maybe with swan arms. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, pinch your hands, step back, work through your variation, high plank to low plank, upward facing dog, meet and downward facing dog, adhamukha svanasana. Breathe in here. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat, bend your knees. Exhale, travel feet to hands, top of the mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lift halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, extended mountain reach. Exhale, Anjali Mudra, hands through heart center. Press through all your fingers and palms. Inhale, extended mountain, Urdhva Hasasana. Exhale, fold forward. Keep a flat spine the whole way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat and curl. So we're moving through some mudra salutation, the C salutation, saluting the water. Inhale, lift your arms up. You're in a squat position. Exhale, plow pose. Bring your hips over your shoulders. Bring your toes to your feet. Inhale, roll back up, squat. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Different variation of salutation. Inhale, extended mountain, saluting the sea. Exhale, draw your hands through heart center. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat. Inhale, reach your arms out in front of you, parallel to the ground. Exhale, plow. Reach it back, toes to your fingers, hips over your shoulders. Inhale, roll back, squat. Exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, extended mountain, root to rise, warming up the body, warming up the breath. Exhale, hands through heart center. Close your eyes this time. We're moving through second variation of Samudra Namaskar C salutation. Inhale, extended mountain, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana, keep a flat spine, hug your low belly in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat and curl. Inhale, arms up to parallel to the ground. Exhale, plow pose, send it back, feel this compression on the front side of your body. Now listen up, this is a different variation. Inhale, lift your legs high, you're gonna lower your hips. 
Then exhale, slowly lower your legs all the way down to the ground. So we're building core. Inhale, lift and sit up. Then exhale, Paschimottanasana, forward fold, reach for your toes. Keep shining through your heart. Keep your spine long and straight. Inhale, release back. Come into a reverse plank. Hands plant behind you. Fingers point in front of you. Lift through your hips. Gaze up, maybe back. Exhale, release your hips down. Move into boat pose. Navasana, lift your feet. Maybe your knees are bent 90 degrees. Arms out in front of you. Inhale, high boat. Arms reach. Exhale, low boat. Hover your feet. Hover your shoulders and your head. Building core. Release everything. Inhale, full body stretch. And listen up. Exhale, plow. Lift through your feet and your hips. Bring your feet and toes to your fingers. Inhale, roll back up, squat. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, extended mountain reach. Exhale, hands through heart center, close your eyes. So that is the warm-up portion of class. So let's move with our breath. Let's move through our vinyasa, linking breath to movement. Inhale, extend and out to reach. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, high plank, lower to low plank. Hug your elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high, kick back through your right heel, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through right in between your hands, setting up for warrior two. Inhale, rise up, warrior two, arms come to a T. Find your heel to arch alignment with your feet, right knee directly over your right ankle. Reach forward with your right fingers. Reach backward with your left fingers. Shoulders directly over your hips. Here for an inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach to tuck your arms out. Reach your left arm all the way to the front. So long line of energy through your left fingers all the way down your side body to your left toes. Right arm to the inside of your right knee, pressing it back behind you. One more inhale. Hold for your exhale. Inhale, rise up, arms to a T. Feet become parallel, shine your chest. Exhale, prasarita padatanasana, wide leg forward fold. So lead with your heart. Keep the flat spine all the way down. So let your head hang heavy here. Embrace this inversion, lift and stretch through the top of your head, down to the ground, gaze is behind you. I'm going to really feel the stretch, walk your fingers back behind you, bring some of the weight into the balls of your feet. Release your hands under your shoulders, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lunge, front of the space, creep and crawl. Lower your left knee down, half split, straighten through your right foot, send your hips back over your left knee here. Right leg is long and straight, toes are coming back to your face, keep your chest lifted. And to take a deeper bend through your elbows. Inhale, back to lunge, bend through your right knee, lift your left knee. Exhale, three-legged dog, kick back. Inhale. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, shift shoulders over wrist. Inhale, kick back, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, right knee, left elbow, cross it over your body. Feel your strength here, press the mat away. Inhale, kick back, three-legged dog. 
Exhale, one-legged high plank, move through your chaturanga, your variation. Lean in downward, facing dog. Beautiful work, yogis. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through to lunge, right in between your hands. Setting up for warrior two. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. So your left knee over your left ankle here. Left toes point out in front of you. Right foot is parallel to the back end of the mat. Sink through your left knee. Hug in through your low belly. Lift through the top of your head. Here for an inhale. Exhale, extended side angle reach. Right arm stretches to the front of the space. Left arm comes to the inside of your left knee. Draw your right shoulder down your back. Keep on breathing. Lift up out of your left side body. Inhale, rise up. Arms to a T. Feet are parallel. Shine through your heart. Exhale, prasarita, padatanasana. Wide leg, forward fold. Keep a flat spine the whole way down here. So gaze in between your legs. Work the top of your head towards the ground. And walk your fingers in between your legs. Shift a little bit of your weight into your toes. Trying to get your shoulders all the way under your hips if you are flexible enough. Keep breathing one more inhale. And exhale. Release hands under your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lunge front of the space. Drop your right knee. Exhale, half splits. Lengthen through your left leg. Left toes are flexed. Now your hip is directly over your right knee, so make any adjustments that you need. Stretching through the entire backside of our left leg, our calf. Inhale, back to lunge, creep and crawl, lift your right knee. Exhale, kick back, three-legged dog. Hold here, inhale. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, press the mat away. Inhale, kick back, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, cross it over body to right elbow. Inhale, kick back, three-legged dog. Exhale, one-legged plank, move through your chaturanga. Any variation, ekapada, chaturanga, dandasana, one-legged. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale, let it go. Moving through that sequence one more time here, we're going to pick up the pace. We're linking one breath to movement. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step through between your hands. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, rise up, arms to a T, feet parallel. Exhale, forward fold, wide-legged variation. Move slow, with control, with intention. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, low lunge, drop your left knee. Exhale, half splits, send it back. Inhale, lunge, creep and crawl forward. Exhale, step back, three-legged dog. Hold here, inhale. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, kick back, three-legged dog. Exhale, cross it over, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, one-legged chaturanga, move through. Building strength, building heat. Meet back in downward facing dog. Awesome job, yogis, keep it up. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through between your hands. Setting up, inhale, rise up, warrior two. 
Exhale, extended side angle. Reach with your right hand. Inhale, arms to a T, feet parallel. Exhale, prasarita, padatanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lunge, front of the space. Lower your right knee, inhale. Exhale, half splits, lengthen through your left leg. Flex your toes towards your face. Inhale, back to lunge. Exhale, three-legged dog, kick back. Hold here, inhale. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Shift shoulders over your wrist. Press the mat away. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, cross it over to your right elbow. Feel that connection. Feel your strength. Inhale, kick back. Three-legged dog. Exhale, one-legged high plank. One-legged chaturanga. Ekapada, chaturanga dandasana. Meet me in downward facing dog. Adhamukha svanasana in Sanskrit. Beautiful job, yogis. Inhale here. Exhale, really press the mat away from you. Head out your legs as much as you need. We're going to move through our next sequence of class. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through to lunge next to your right thumb. Inhale, reach out with your right arm out in front of you. Exhale, pull your right elbow to the inside of your right knee. Feel your strength. We're going to do this two more times. Inhale, reach and gaze. Exhale, hug it in, almost bringing that cat-like spine. Last one. Inhale, reach in front. Exhale, pull it in. Lower your left heel down to the ground. Inhale, rise up. Warrior one. Deep bend through your right knee. Plant down through the blade edge of your left foot. Now keep your shoulders square to the front of the space. Here for an inhale, gaze up, reach up. Exhale, eagle arm, right arm under your left. Inhale, reach. Exhale, humble warrior, eagle arms, keep a flat spine. Reach your right shoulder to the inside of your right knee, gaze back behind you. Now we're gonna move with our breath. Inhale, rise up. Eagle arm, warrior one. Exhale, humble warrior, eagle arm, variation, lower down. One more, inhale, lift up through your fingers, through your gaze. Exhale, humble warrior, eagle arm, variation. Now go ahead and release your hands, almost finding your right leg, wearing it as a backpack over your right hand. So bring your right palm right behind your right foot. Just feel the stretch. Go ahead and release your right hand to the outside of your right foot. Inhale, rise back up, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. And that heel to arch alignment. Inhale, reverse warrior, paint the sky back behind you. Exhale, lunge, front of the space. Gaze to the front. Exhale, forward fold, left foot meets your right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, you can plant your hands, step back into Chaturanga, or move through a crow pose if you would like. So if you're going to move through crow pose, plant your hands under your shoulders, bend your knees here. Your knees are going to come all the way up almost to your armpits. Gaze out in front of you, shift forward. Maybe you lift one heel at a time. Hold here in your crow for a couple of rounds of breath. And when you are ready, hop or step back into high plank and move through your Chaturanga Dandasana. Any variation you want. You can add in an extra push-up. You can hold in your high plank. You can skip it all together and just meet us in downward facing dog. Let's move through the other side. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step 
to your left thumb here. Coming up to warrior one, plant your right foot, inhale, rise up. Exhale, hump, eagle arms, left arm under your right, inhale, lift through your fingers. Exhale, humble warrior, eagle arms. Keep a flat spine, move down with control, bringing your left shoulder to the inside of your left knee. Inhale, rise back up, eagle arm, warrior one. Exhale, eagle arm, humble warrior. One more, inhale, building strength and heat. Exhale, humble warrior, eagle arm variation. Now you can release your hands. Bring your left hand behind your left heel. Just feel this opening of your hip. And then release your left hand to the outside of your left foot. Back into warrior one. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. Heel to arch alignment. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, lunge to the front of the space. Gaze out in front of you, shine through your heart. Exhale, fold forward, right foot meets your left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, either chaturanga or move into second set of crow. Building some arm strength, working on our balance. Finding our mid-center, hugging our navel to our spine, sending our hips up high. Hold if you're in your crow for a couple of rounds of breath. And then hop, step, your variation, move back through your chaturanga. Awesome work, yogis. You're welcome to grab a drink of water at any time. Or just hold in your downward facing dog. That's where we're going to meet. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat, bend your knees. Exhale, travel feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, extended mountain root to rise. Exhale, chair pose, sit back into your hips, weight into your heels, arms and gaze overhead. Now from here, we're gonna move into eagle pose. Right arm wraps under your right, left, right knee up and over your left. Hug everything to the midline. Stack your joints, so wrists over elbows, over knees, over ankles. Again, sit back into your hips. Keep your chest lifted. Garudasana, eagle pose. Hold here for one more inhale. Then hold for an exhale. Inhale, release your arms, Ekapada Tadasana, one-legged mountain, flex your right toes, and right knee comes to 90 degrees. Exhale, figure four, right knee over, sorry, right ankle over left knee, hands to heart center. So sit back here into your hips. Keep your right toes flexed, figure four, chest is lifted. Inhale, back to Ekapada Tadasana, one-legged mountain. Exhale, chair pose, release. Moving through the other side, left arm under your right, eagle. Left leg up and over your right. Garudasana, hugging everything to the midline. Almost finding that cat-like spine, finding that protrusion through your shoulder blades, keeping your shoulders over your hips. Keep on breathing, inhale. And exhale, sink a little bit lower. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana. Exhale, figure four, left ankle over right knee. Sit back, flex your left toes. Balance through your right standing leg. Keep your chest lifted. Breathing to the outside edge of our left hip. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana. Exhale, chair. One more inhale. 
Exhale, airplane your arms. Maybe you come up onto your toes to balance here. Chest is lifted. Palms face the ground. Hug your elbows back behind you. One more inhale. And exhale. Release your heels. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga, your variation, high plank, low plank on your exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips high. Now from this downward facing dog, go ahead and walk your hands back to your feet. So you're coming into a forward fold, back of the mat. Now toe heel your feet out towards the edges of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, extended mountain root to rise. Now bring your toes to the outside edges of the mat, your toes out, heels in, and exhale, squat down into Malasana, deep squat into your frog pose here. So hands at Anjali Mudra, your palms are pressing together, fingers are pressing together, thumbs to heart center, now you work your elbows into the middle, the inside edge of your knees, and as you press your palms together, it's going to open up your hips a little bit more. Now we want to work on some hip mobility here. So you can just hang out here and keep breathing in your malasana, your deep squat. Or you have the option to, one at a time, drop your right knee down to the ground. Lift it back up. Drop your left knee, finding that internal rotation. Bring it back up. Drop your right knee. Now move through this maybe a couple more times on each side. Again, finding some mobility through our hips. I'm going to do one more round each side. My hips are a burn in. Meeting back in Malasana. Go ahead and plant your hands. Lift your hips up high. Walk back into a high plank position. And move through your chaturanga here. Any variation that you want. High plank, down to your low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now from your down dog, go ahead and grab a seat towards the middle of your mat. We're coming into boat pose. Navasana, so knees are bent. Lift your heels off the ground. Flex your toes towards your face. Arms reach out in front of you. Now we're going to take a little bit of movement here. I have really short arms. So keep holding in your boat pose. Keep lifting through your chest. Hug in through your low belly. Keep your feet lifted. Hold here. Now watch on the screen this transition here. So we're moving, inhale, high boat. Exhale, cross your ankles, plant your hands in front of your hips. Now I am using blocks because my arms are really short and this helps give me some lift. You can do this with or without the block. You plant your hands, you lift your hips, and your legs off the ground. Lower, back into boat. Other one, you cross the other ankle over the top, hinge forward, lift, hips and legs, come back to boat. So we're gonna move through this multiple times, switching which leg is first. Building our core, building our strength. Hugging your hips up towards your belly. Do a couple more rounds on each side. Use your exhale, lift your hips and your feet. One more each side, moving from boat. Cross your legs, hinge forward, lift. Back to boat, last one. Exhale, hinge forward, lift your hips and feet. 
Inhale, boat. Exhale, low boat. Hover. Feel your strength. Release everything. Take a full body stretch. Rock and roll. Plant your hands. Step back. High plank. Move through your chaturanga. Knee and downward facing dog. Awesome work, yogis. Deep inhale. And exhale. I forgot one more hip mobility. So go ahead and drop um, to your hips again. Take a seat towards the middle of your mat. And then take your feet to the outside edges of your mat here. And hands back behind you. And we're going to just windshield wiper our knees. So again, drop your right knee down to the ground. Bring it back to center. Left knee down. Trying to open up our hips just a little bit more before we move into our peak posture of shoulder pressing stand, Bhuja Pidasana. Or option to take it further into TT Basana, which is Firefly. Let's move back through another Chaturanga, or again, just meet us in Downward Facing Dog. Beautiful work, yogis. Let's take a seat. We're going to be working here. So keep facing the front of your mat. For the sake of the camera, I'm just going to turn towards you guys here just to do some explaining. So we're going to start with Sukhasana. Our knees are bent, easy seated pose. We want to find a cradle with our right foot. So we're going to pick it up. We're going to kind of cradle it like we would a little baby. Like Brad says, we're going to nuzzle the baby. We're going to kiss the baby. Trying to open up through our right hip here. Now the next step is to work towards elephant trunk pose. So what we're going to do is we're going to extend our left leg out straight now. And we want to wrap our right elbow or shoulder under our right leg, kind of like we're wearing a backpack. So we're bringing that right leg to the top of our bicep. And then plant your hands down, essentially right in front of your shoulders. Keep your right toes flexed. Option to lift through your left foot or not, but we're lifting our heels and lower it back down. Again, that right leg is going to stay over your arm, kind of like a backpack strap. Lift up. Option to lift through your left heel as well, or even place a block underneath that heel. So when you lift, you get that idea. And lower. Do it one or two more times on this right side. All right, so from there, we're going to do the other side. So rock and cradle your left leg like a little baby. Nuzzle the baby, kiss the baby, really opening up through our left hip. And then finding that backpack like motion on this left side. So left arm under your left leg. Wiggle it around as much as you need. Hands underneath your shoulders and press up and lower. Again, option to lift your right heel onto a block. Lift, elephant trunk pose and lower. I again have really short arms, so sometimes it's easier to put blocks next to you. Find your backpack, place your hands on the block right in front of you, and then lift. And that way I can lift my foot off the ground. So the option is yours. Play around with it. Make sure you're lifting at least five times through this elephant trunk pose. Beautiful. One more round. Exhale. Release your legs. Maybe pedal them out. Move through. Chaturanga. One of your last chaturangas is a class as we move into our peak posture. 
a Bhuja Pidasana. Shoulder pressing stand. So using your core, walk your hands back to your feet. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Now toe heel your feet. You come towards the middle of your back. Toe heel your feet out so they are a little bit wider than hip width distance. And go ahead and squat about 90 degrees here with your knees. Now we're going to begin to bring our hands to the inside of our feet. And then start to bring your hand, your right palm, your left palm, back behind your heels. Now at this time, you want to drop your hips down. So they're almost resting right on the back of your biceps. Sorry, your triceps. Now from here, you're gazing out in front of you. Now I like to bring my toes to the center. You're going to cross your left foot over your right. And then lift your feet into Bhuja Pidasana, shoulder pressing pose. So you say that because you want to hug your thighs into your shoulders so much to find that strength. Lift up through your hips towards your midline. Feet are crossed in front of you. Hold for as long as you can. And then go ahead and release. We're going to try it a couple more times here. So I'm going to find a counter posture, counter pose. Counter stretch through our wrists. Place the back of your hands down onto the ground and just kind of massage them out here. Beautiful. All right. So let's try this again. And we're going to cross the opposite foot in front of the other one. So come back to a forward fold. Toe heel. Your feet out. A little bit wider than hip width distance towards the edges of your mat. Go ahead and bend your knees about 90 degrees and bring your hands to the inside of your feet. Now slowly start to draw your right elbow under your right leg and then your left, bringing your palms back behind your heels and then start to sink your hips down low. Now maybe you're just holding here and stretching. Otherwise you can bring your feet and toes out in front of you Cross your right foot over your left. Lots of arch strength here. And lift through your feet. Hugging your knees, pressing into your shoulders. I'm going to try this here with my blocks underneath my hands. Sometimes that helps me get into this a little bit easier because my arms are so short. Perfect. Hugging your thighs into your elbows, elbows into the side of your body. And toes are lifted. Hold here. And then go ahead and release. Woo! Awesome job. Elbows, virtual high thighs. Little pat on the back. Nice job, you guys. Go ahead and release into a child's pose. Sink your hips back. Arms release in front of you. Bring your head down to the ground. Find that connection with the earth below you. Your body takes that as a sign to slow down as it feels your pineal gland root into the earth, the area right in between your eyes, your eye of intuition, your third eye center. Finding that connection with the ground automatically tells your body and your breath to slow down. We're going to move onto your back, however that looks good for you. Drop your heels down. Legs in front of you, knees are bent, and slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. So we're going to move into a bridge pose. We've been doing a lot of forward folding, a lot of compression through our internal organs. So now we want to open up through the front side. So draw your elbows next to your torso and your fingers lifting towards the sky. Now draw your heels towards your glutes. On your inhale, root through your heels. 
And on your exhale, lift your hips up high to the sky. Now as you do that, draw your elbows and your shoulders and your triceps down into the ground. As you work your hips high, feeling this stretch and this opening through your entire front side body. Now as you can, lift your hips a little bit higher, pressing through your heels, toes, point out in front of you. One more inhale, lift up as much as you can. And exhale, slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. Finding figure four with our legs, right ankle over your left knee. Now find any variation here that you want. You can keep your left foot to the ground. You can lift your left foot off of the ground. You can even lengthen your left leg long and straight, kicking up towards the sky. Any variation that you take, make sure to send your right knee towards the front of the face. Keep your right toes flexed. Inhale. <laughs> Exhale, release through your left heel. Find eagle leg, so right leg over your left. Simple supine twist with eagle legs. Drop them to the left, gaze to the right. Pulling this twist here through your entire spine. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, slowly come back to center. Unwind your legs, maybe pedal them out. And then we'll find this on the other side. Left, or sorry, right sole of your foot roots into the ground. The left ankle over right knee. Bending here through your left knee. Any variation, you can keep it to the ground. You can lift your right foot or extend it up to the sky. And then energetically work your left knee towards the front of the space here as you open up. Breathe here. Send your breath to the areas that feel tight. One more inhale. Exhale, release your right foot down to the ground, finding your eagle leg, left leg wraps over your right. Draw your knees over to the right side of the that twist and gaze over your left shoulder. You can use your inhales to lengthen through your spine a little bit more. Finding this twist from your mid to upper spine. You can use your exhale to twist it a little bit deeper. Inhale slowly back to center. Unwind your legs, pedal them out. your feet down, toe heel them towards the outside edges of your mat, and let your knees drop in towards each other here. They're going to support each other. Give you one hand to belly, one hand to heart. Breathing through your constructive rest here. So we've been opening up our hips throughout class, and I want to close them. I want to give them a little bit of break. Finding that internal rotation of your thighs, toes, point in front of you. One more round of breath. Close your eyes if you haven't already. And that connection with your breath, lengthening out through your inhales and exhales as we slow it down. Now toe, heel your feet towards the center of the mat. Bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees open wide. We're coming back into a Baddha Konasana butterfly leg, but this time we're reclined. So Supta Baddha Konasana with the opposite hand to belly and heart. Notice how much open your hips feel now than they did at the beginning of the class. Breathing into the inside edges of your legs, your adductor muscles opening them up, releasing through the outside edges of your hip as you soften your knees to the ground. Close your eyes, 
coming back to that connection with your breath. hands to the outside edges of your legs and slowly draw them up toward the center, hugging your knees into your chest, find that compression. And exhale, full body stretch, kick it out in front of you, reach back behind you, stretch out as if it's the first stretch of the morning here. And then exhale, surrender into your final Shavasana. So bring your hands down next to your body. Go ahead and press the palms of your hands down into the ground. Feel a little bit of support underneath you. We were lifting and growing and expanding so much. Now we want to root it down into the earth. Find some stability. Close your eyes. Let your feet splay open wide towards the edges of your mat. Take up space here. Soften through your toes and your ankles. Soften through the bottom of your feet, through your shins, through your knees. Just let everything go heavy. Release any tension through your thighs, through your hamstrings. Let your hips go soft. Let them melt into the earth. Soften here through your fingers, through your palms, through your wrists. Melt through your arms, your shoulders, your belly. Feeling the earth support you. And if you wiggle your head from side to side, loosening up through your cervical spine. And then release tension through your mouth. So oftentimes we're clenching our jaw. Go ahead and unclench. Maybe release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Maybe your mouth can slightly open. Melt and soften through your earlobes, through your cheekbones. Soften through your eyelids. Close your eyes if you haven't already. Soften through your temple through your eyebrows, through the space right in between your eyebrows, your third eye center. Now soften through the entire crown of your head. Let it go soft and heavy at the same time. Now be here in the Shavasana for as long as you can. Maybe it's two more minutes. Maybe it's ten more minutes. Maybe it's 30 more minutes. Be here with your breath. Close your eyes. There's nowhere else for you to be, nothing else for you to do, but to embrace the stillness and the silence in the four corners of your mat. Thank you so much for flowing along with me today. I hope I did justice. Tabuja Pidasana, shoulder pressing pose. Let me know if you have any questions, any feedback. You guys have a good rest of your day. See you next time.